Hi there, this is Jeff with Cloud and C, and today I'm going to show a little trick in Fusion 360 for getting the machining time to show up when you run a toolpath operation. And this is very helpful when you're running ChemAssist, our automatic toolpath generation system, and that allows you to see the machining time for each operation and the operations all together here. So the way those numbers show up is actually a setting in Fusion in your, your personal settings. So if I go to my preferences here, see where that is that's under the manufacturer space and it's show operation machining time this this setting right here and we'll get a zoom in on that so if you hit that if I turn that off and hit apply you should see those machining times won't be available so if I were to run cam assist on this one again you can see that the machining times aren't showing up but to get that to turn back on go to preferences again under the manufacturer space Show operation machining time. Check that on, hit apply, and okay. And then they come back. So that's really handy for not only preparing your file and knowing what it's gonna, how long it's gonna take, but also uh, it's useful for, in the sales context, for quoting, to get an idea of how much time uh, it'll take to operate a, a job on the machine. So if we look at a different file, for instance, this one's gonna be six minutes and if, if I were coming at this right from this from uh, nothing so if I took away my, my tool paths here and I ran chem assist again as as a sales person maybe I'm not super from super familiar or knowledgeable at all of cam programming but I can run cam assist by just coming in here clicking this button running it on the two setups that are available it'll only take a few seconds to run and then I can get a really uh, comprehensive breakdown of, of the toolpath operations that might be required. Not saying that these are the definite ones, but it gives you a better tool for estimating than maybe using your old spreadsheets or um, what someone tells you in a conversation. It's a bit more objective and easy to produce. So you can see this is not, not a very basic part. It's got a few uh, different features on it. Cam Assist will run it for the top and bottom setup in just a few seconds. And as, as a salesperson, you could run this and free up your cam programmer, your engineer, your CNC uh, machinist's time. And you could be doing this for a number of parts in just a matter of minutes rather than taking days to hunt down answers and send out numerous emails and, and what have you to get that information just to get the, the quote out the door. So you can see those toolpath operations are now being created. Cam Assist is providing all that information back to Fusion. It should be wrapping up shortly. And then for this application, this, this uh, tips and trick, we're only looking for the machining time actually. So I'll just give you another second here. And there we go. So we've got created and, and again this this in this case it might not have got every single nuance of the part but it's probably a better baseline machining time calculation than what you would get otherwise and you can always pad it or use factors of, of time that your shop might need and then there's of course other factors for, for quoting that you'd want to put into into your quote material and power, etc. Overhead. So it just takes a few seconds now for Fusion to generate those tool paths. They should be coming up here. Okay, so now we've got our setup one here. It's showing 19 minutes and 19 seconds, and we can see the breakdown for each two different tool path operation. Setup two just needs a few more seconds. And then we'll get that into the quote. And you can do that for a number of parts. I hope that's been helpful. And remember that's under your, your own um, preferences, under manufacture and show operation machine time. Thanks a lot. And if you have any other questions or you want a free trial of our Canvas program, please click the link in the description. Thanks a lot.